Okay then guys, well, welcome to another episode of We've Gone Fishing. Um, I've been here probably an hour, had a walk round. Um, I'm just here for the day session actually, uh, midweek, Wednesday, day off from, from college. Um, one of those teach train days. So yeah, I've come out here. Um, and within minutes, I've got a take on the hinge stiff rig. I just banged it out, there's fish topping everywhere. And I've got this beautiful fish that absolutely fought like a demon. Um, really, I thought it was something like, I thought it was a catfish, it was gone. <laughs> so it's a stunning fish, one of my favorite fish out there. Look at that, what a beaut. What an absolute beaut. Went 22, 13. Thought it was a lot bigger, looks a lot bigger in my mind, but, well, stunning fish, eh? I'll wait to start the episode, hopefully we can have some more. Let's get some photos, get her back. Go on fishing. Okay guys, so, it is now after that fish. Um, quite shocked I got that quickly, but they are so active with this hot weather. Um, what I nailed that on was um, Hinder's Pops pop-up, the uh, fruits pop-ups. Really nice, strong smelling, sweet, bright pink, just lovely really. Um, on the hinge stiff rig, literally I, I got in and set up and wasn't really any rush to get my rods out because I had a look round, I knew there was fish in front of me so I just thought I'll get the rods out and then I'll do the video. Um, so I banged the hinge stiff rig out there and uh, off it roared. So I didn't even have time to do the first video. Um, I've probably had the rods out about an hour. But what a stunning fish. Um, really did fight really hard. Um, stripped a lot of line. I, I thought it was, you know, one of the bigger fish in here. Really, I thought it was, you know, I didn't know what I'd hooked. It went like mad. Um, stunning fish, really, is all I can say. It was, it was really nice. Um, had a lot of pickups on the, well not pickups but liners on each rod, um, especially on the right hand rod which has got the uh, Hinders nuts, boilies, really strong smelling, live systems have done well down here, um, so I thought I'd uh, use the Hinders nuts which is exactly like, well not exactly like but quite a bit like, um, like live systems. <coughs> um, and the pop-ups just over a, a bed of those boilies and there it seems to be doing the job. Um, it's the hinge stiff rig with the end trap se section with a little sort of trolley probably about that long, um, inch, inch and a half long, just uh, with some mouth trap and a size 8 trolley hook, quarter trolley hook so yeah it's looking good hopefully we can have some more. Okay guys, just a quick update now. Um, it's getting on a bit now in the afternoon. Haven't had anything else, had liners. Fish just on the top at the minute. Um, I haven't got any float to give me or anything that I can tie up a zig with. Um, so yeah, it's frustrating really, but I went down a couple of swims down, got up a swim, got up a tree and a swim, and there's just carp right underneath me all over me, I, mean, I can see them crystal clear, you can actually name the fish. Um, two massive commons swimming about. Um, so yeah, you can see everything. And I was stood in the sun next door talking to a bloke who was walking around. Um, and literally I was like, what's that? And there's a silting up patch and then I moved. And then this carp, you know, fat carp went whoosh, like straight off. So they are definitely out there. Some of them are feeding, they're just kind of picking up the odd bait here and there. Um, I've changed changed where my rigs were, um, brought a couple of them in a bit closer, yeah, one of them in a bit closer, one a bit further out than that one, um, just because they sort of cruised about the middle, but yeah, we should persevere, we're going to leave about six, um, but there's no worry, I've had a fish, um, and I should be back down tomorrow night, uh, so Thursday night for 48 hours, so I'll be Thursday night, Friday night, come home Saturday, and then... Of course, next week I'm off college, so um, I shall hit it again hard. And it closes that weekend on the Easter Monday. Um, and then I'm fishing with Brian and that week after Easter, doing a 24, 48 hour sorry, 
I'm not sure whether it's on one of his syndicates or whether um, I'm up on linear, but we shall see. We should be somewhere. Um, that'd be a good one, so there'll be an episode for that. So there's going to be a lot of episodes coming out, but yeah. Be nice to have one more. Just a bit late, just in like the next hour or so, it'd be nice. Um, but yeah, basically, that's how it's going. So I'm going to cook some lunch now and get back to you a bit later, hopefully, with a fish. All right, cheers, guys. Okay, guys, so I'll just have this belt and take on the hinge stiff rig. This 2412 common for a lovely day session. A lovely fish. Go on fishing. It's the end of what's been a cracking day session with two fish of 20 plus, so. Brilliant, just packing up now, it's getting on for half five. Um, so I need to be at the gates by six, so Dad can pick me up, so. <clears throat> Spot on, I should be back down here tomorrow night, so. Hopefully more fish to follow like that. Nice one. See you later guys, please subscribe and keep watching. Nice one.